We aren't putting up a Christmas tree this year. I live with my mom and my stepdad. And at first I was like, okay, that's my mom's idea. You know, she's, um, she's really wanting to do the family thing with my brother and he's not able to come because he used up all his six days because he had a really sick son this last year and maybe he's been sick. I don't know. But that's another thing. We're not really that close to family maybe as other people. Maybe you see them once or twice a year. And that's mainly also because of me and my agoraphobic um, nature. I don't travel and they live like in Toronto and we're in Ottawa and my parents see them more than I do because they go down and um, my parents are going to see them before Christmas and um, they're coming down um, in like mid-January. So that's not really an issue. The issue is, I guess, everybody has this idea of Christmas Day, like, that's the day you spend with family and stuff like that, but um, my family will probably be, you know, online. I know when I feel lonely and stuff, like, I push myself not to lie in bed and stuff, like, I push myself to maybe go on Twitter, go on Facebook, see what my friends are up to, because um, I have been in a high the last, like, not yesterday, but a few days before that, and, like, since um, like a week or something last weekend it's Saturday today so and at that point like I was busy doing stuff I had a whole bunch of <laughs> online stuff that I was reorganizing um, like pictures and my cluttered email and I guess I wasn't really spending a lot of time with friends because I didn't really need to because I was in another world because I was like distracting myself and I guess what now I just have a lot of time to think. I'm, I'm kind of going back to my friends and stuff. Like, it's not like I would ignore anyone if anyone sent me messages. I was getting messages, but it's just hard to, it's hard to deal with. Like, I, I wanted to get that over with, and I kind of have this addictive drive that when I start a project, like, I have to continue it till it's done, and it took three days, and I was, like, really wiped out, and I think that, that kind of put me in the sort of upswing I guess it was just a hypomania and also like brought me down in the end um I had to take out my knockout pill my knockout pills I prexa and that kind of brought me down again so um and I had put this monitor to show you my cats but they seem like they're not existing um, at the moment, they really, really want to go outside, but it's like very cold out. I guess our highs are reaching like 10 degrees Celsius. That may be with wind chill or what. And it's it's really cold, and that's fine for me because I'm kind of a hermit. But today it's the morning. I think I'll go to the. I will go to the Ottawa Organic Farmers Market to get a few things. Um, especially things that I find are hard to get at other stores and they're pretty close to me. So I think that that's what I'll do. But again, because I'm depressed again, like I have to kind of push myself. Like even when I was in my hypomanic, I wasn't really doing anything like social or going outside. It was just like doing stuff that other people would probably think is no big deal, like cleaning up. So I don't know what people say when they're like, it's so great. You get so much work done. Like I get it. Like, yeah, I did a lot of stuff online and stuff, but I couldn't do anything useful. Like, it's not a useful emotion either way. I think, I think once again, a balance is maybe the most useful emotion you could ever have.